All right, so I'm going to be doing some, some service on this 1122 TST. Just for context, this machine is about seven years old now. I bought this, I think it was 2016, might have been late 2016. I have never done any maintenance on it. I've used it a lot. It's got way more than the 50 hours they recommend for oil changes, um, and it's, it's due for pretty much everything. My pressure gauge is starting to go bad. I'm going to do the seals. I'm going to change the oil. I'm going to actually put a new fitting on the end of the hose. Um, so anyway, for this, this here segment, I'm going to do an oil change in it. So what you need is you need your Krenzla oil. You're going to need a 13 millimeter wrench. And what I like to use for removing the cap, it's actually, if you notice, it is slotted, but it's not really intended for a screwdriver. I believe what it's intended for is either a coin or a washer. So I use a washer in that slot to loosen the cap and then a funnel and a drain pan. So let me get started. First things first. I'm going to lean it up and loosen the, uh, the drain plug down below. That's a 13 millimeter. So I'll crack this loose. Okay, maybe not. I think I'm going to have to get a ratchet and a socket for that. All right, so if yours isn't as old as mine and you've been servicing it regularly, uh, your, your drain plug might not be as tight as mine was. So I haven't ever cracked it loose. So. There we go. Okay, so that's got it loose. So, tip it down. Hopefully I can reach in here with my fingers, get my oil pan under here. What I'm using is a little uh, 32 ounce uh, Rubbermaid Tupperware, so it fits under here nice and tight. There's just not much clearance. All right, so, now just loosen it by hand, and there it comes. Ooh, and as you can see, if you can see this, my oil is rather milky, which means it's a good time I'm doing this, a good thing I'm doing the service now. Um, obviously my seals are letting water into the oil side. So that is not great, but we will fix that. So let's get it drained and then what I'll probably do is I'll put a little of little clean oil in there and uh, put the plug back in, move it around a bunch to kind of get the oil, the new oil to pick up the rest of the oil, the oil residue that's in there and I'll pull the drain plug again. I don't think you'd need to do this if you're servicing it regularly, but since mine has obviously been contaminated by some water, I'm going to do that. All right, so it's uh, done draining. I'm going to thread the plug back in, and then, as you can see, it's quite milky. And then what I'll do is put a little more oil in there, and I'll tip it up and down a few times, so that way the new oil can kind of help wash out the contaminated oil. Probably won't put very much in there, maybe uh, four or five ounces should do it. All right. Now, I think what I would end up doing on this unit, since I am obviously contaminated, I would probably go ahead and run this after I put new seals in it, run it for maybe a few cycles, and then change the one, lap, one more time, just because we know we have water in there. And since this machine only takes about eight or so ounces of oil, if you buy a bottle of the Krenz oil, that's good for basically four services. And there we go. And the oil is much cleaner this time. Got a little creaminess to it, but it's much better. All right, we'll let that drain. All right, so drain plug does have an O-ring on it, so I would recommend just inspect your O-ring. Mine looks perfectly fine, probably because I've never taken it off, um, but it looks good. If, it, if, if it's got any little chip in it or whatever, now's the time to change it, but mine looks great. So I'm just gonna get it back in there, and then we'll fill up the case with oil. All right. All right, let's get this out of the way. Okay, and as I mentioned, it's time to use our washer on our fill plug. And what I found is a flat blade screwdriver doesn't engage properly, so if it's really tight, it ends up marking up your cap, so, and you can kind of see it's got a radius in there for a coin or a washer. 
All right, so what we want to do is there is a fill line on here, so you want to fill it, you want to fill it to about there. So I'm going to guesstimate about six, seven, eight ounces, and then uh, we'll check it, and we, if we have to add, we can. So. Probably about six there. Okay, and we're just on the tip of the dipstick, so. Okay, so now we want to check our oil level, put our cap back in. My cap is being finicky here. This is the, probably the simplest thing you can do on this machine aside from maybe changing out the pressure gauge. And obviously I'm not saying you should change it every 200 hours like I did, but that just shows you how reliable these machines are if I've had this thing that long and have not serviced it and it's still going strong. Okay, we are full. That's perfect, I got lucky. It's right exactly where it needs to be. Okay, so that's all there really is to change the oil. Very simple, and uh, I think I would, uh, now from now on, I'll be changing mine every 50 hours or so. I'll have to estimate that, because I think I probably use it for about 15 minutes total per car wash. So what is that, four car washes an hour? So 200 car washes? Roughly, yeah, that's, that's quite the service interval. All right, so oil change is done. I wouldn't wait as long as I did to do so. Uh, I would do it every 50 hours like recommended or, or thereabouts. Um, and as always, you can buy the 1122 TSTs on our website and all the maintenance parts as well. So go to obsessedgarage.com if you need anything and we should have everything there for you.